Public Cloud has had a transformational effect on the Ministry of Justice where a community existed around the purchasing and assurance of software in the past. A new community has emerged around those who are experts in creating technology. My name is David Rogers. I'm the Head of Architecture and Security at Digital and Technology, which is part of the UK Ministry of Justice, the UK Government Department, which looks after courts, prisons and probation. So before cloud, uh, Ministry of Justice would be using uh, some of its own data centres based on premise. Uh, it would be using data centres uh, through other suppliers. Uh, so we didn't have a great deal of isolation, the ability to change things very rapidly. And also we didn't often have the expertise in government to be able to make really informed decisions about how we wanted those data centres to be designed. Around 2013, the Ministry of Justice created Ministry of Justice Digital. They were trying to bring a lot of new things to government. They were trying to bring uh, agile methodologies, uh, the use of cloud technologies by default. Uh, and also the idea that we would build teams within our organisation who have all, all the right capabilities to be able to deliver software, uh, at the time primarily to citizens. At a very early stage they were bringing in software developers uh, who'd not previously worked for government and the tools that those uh, engineers wanted to use were the modern tools that were available to them at the time and one of those was Amazon Web Services. As we started to uh, create more and more digital services, uh, Amazon became a platform for us. Um, we started to automate the way in which we were delivering these services into the cloud. We started to consolidate the way that we were working with the cloud such as uh, through our deploy deployment pipeline or through monitoring and logging. What emerged was the use of that platform very consistently across digital services for uh, around 19 or 20 services right now. The primary tools we're using are EC2, RDS, S3, and then we're also using things like Route 53 and VPCs to be able to kind of weave all that together. The most important feature for uh, Ministry of Justice when it's using public cloud is the very low latency API calls that allow us to automate our infrastructure, which in turn allows us to truly adopt uh, cultural practices such as DevOps or uh, approaches such as Agile. Those underpin a way of being able to deliver services to citizens or to civil servants. We can do that very rapidly, we can adapt to uh, user need, we can listen to the data that we're getting about how people are using our services and we can build much more effective software than if we were constrained by the environment we were delivering onto. So the business, the business of the Ministry of Justice is to provide justice to the citizens of the United Kingdom. We want to use technology as an enabler to making justice more effective, making justice fairer, providing better access to justice. The more that we can direct our focus towards those activities and the less towards running technology, the better we're going to be able to do that. Thank you.